I'm going to ask ChatGPT what the hell I should talk about. I asked the AI, I have a YouTube channel where I talk nonsense. What three things should I discuss next? As an AI language model, I don't encourage or condone the spreading of nonsensical content. There are censoring silliness in, 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 in favor of what? In favor of being serious and formal? I don't think so. But here are some ideas for your next YouTube channel. <laughs> it says, however, if you insist on continuing with your nonsense, here's some random ideas for your next videos. This is gonna be so XD random. React to vi viral videos and memes. Guys, this is a reaction channel. Share your opinions on conspiracy theories. I actually have done that already. Uh, do a silly ex challenge or experiment. Okay, this challenge is gonna be, um, try to talk, try to, this, okay, so the challenge is gonna be, try to form a coherent sentence. So, here's my, th this is not even a theory, this is most likely proven somewhere, but I don't have any sources to back it up, so for now, let's call it a theory. The current state of short form content online comes in the form of force feed scroll slot, okay? When you open your TikTok, when you open your Instagram Reels, when you open your YouTube Shorts, you are immediately shown a video. You didn't click on this video. You didn't choose to watch this video, but you t you just open the app. So you watch it and you see it, you choose to interact with it or you don't, and you move on to the next one, which again, you don't have any tr uh, say in what the next video is. You scroll and it's there right in front of you. Scroll, then it's there right in front of you. No thought required. Now, what I think is quite interesting about this is that what you see is controlled by a machine. It's controlled by the algorithm. It's controlled by maths and a company, right? What does a company need for you to stay on the app longer? Engagement. So, this is quite obvious, but you'll notice a lot of comments and stuff are very negative. And even if I think it's really funny, um, it's still undeniable how negative most comments are. And the reason for that is, is because they didn't pick to watch that video. Let's say, for example, shit, damn. Okay, let's say that I hate Taylor Swift, which is not true, but let's say that I do. So, I am then shown a Taylor Swift edit. I don't like Taylor Swift. I would have never clicked on a Taylor Swift edit in this hypothetical. But here I am, sitting and watching one. So, I'm sitting, I'm like, oh, I don't like this. This is something I don't like. That's just been force-fed to you. So now you are most likely going to react to it negatively. Which means that the algorithm can send it to the wrong people, meaning that video will be very poorly received. Whereas if it just was sent to the right people, the right demographic, then it would be completely different. Which is why I think there's so much negativity. I mean, this is kind of obvious, right? Like, if you even just think about it for a second. Dude, I think people should just go outside for real. <laughs> This is a really uh, this is a really funny thought I had. I wrote this note down quite a few months ago, so I'm gonna try and elaborate on it from right now. But Dracula, the Dracula the Vampire, Count Drac. Number one, two, three, four, five. Ah ah ah! Mina Mongoose from the Sonic is one of the most iconic characters. Period. I mean, you can say that about any of the old monster characters, but that one's held up the, the most, I think. Like, a Kim Kardashian level character. That's such a weird thing to say. I don't even know exactly what I was thinking when I wrote this. Since 1897, uh, Dracula was created as a character. Years and years. Over a century. That's crazy. A century, almost a century and a half. And yet, he still appears in media today. Isn't that impressive? I mean, Playboy Cardi is really popular. And we all know why. It's not because of his music or anything. It's because everyone knows Dracula. I don't know where I'm going with this, man. Like the Mummy Shaw, okay? The fucking Brendan Fraser movie, okay? Or like the Frankenstein's monster, okay? Whatever. Okay, listen. This is a little personal gripe of mine, but in the modern age, in the world we're living in right now, the, the line between agreeing with someone and liking them has blurred an unfortunate amount. For example, if you tell someone you listen to Joe Rogan, they immediately assume that you agree with everything he says. <coughs> I love listening to Joe Rogan, especially since the jobs that I do are so, like, 
Like you can kind of do them while listening to music or podcasts, whatever. I find it much more enjoyable to listen to a podcast. And who else but Joe Rogan is going to put out a million episodes a day, each of them like five hours long. You know what I mean? And I think the conversations are interesting. They're kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah. He kissed his sister. That's <laughs> it's so annoying. Like people think if you like someone, you have to agree with them. So, as some of you might have noticed, I have been spamming inst- uh, YouTube shorts for the last while. That was more of an experiment because they're super easy to make. Like, I can pump out so many of them because they're just clips of my videos. Because my videos, I think, are pretty clippable. So, great for a shorts format. Also, how the fuck is my funny? That shit's great. That shit's great. Some of them did well. And by well, I mean better than my usual videos. All of them, on average, did better than my usual videos. Which is kind of depressing because... I put no effort into them and my actual original videos each take like 10 to 15 hours each. Um, So none of them went crazy. None of them went above a thousand subs. But if you have a channel and you're trying to grow it, a quick easy hack is probably the short form content even though I kind of hate it. That's the way things are nowadays and it's very heavily promoted. So if you want to do well, you kind of have to lean into it at least a little bit. I made one original short. There's one video I made that was not a clip of my videos, and it was... All right, folks, today I'm uh, ranking drinking water, fridge dispenser water. It's cold, it's crisp, it's very easy to access, as tier as fuck. Then we have room temperature water. Room temperature water is disgusting. Okay, I don't want to be seen near it. F tier, get down there. I don't want to ever see you again. Warm water from the car. I'm talking about when you've been out for a while and you come back to the car, and the water is just fucking hot. I'm gonna take room temperature water, bring it up one, okay? You come in E tier, F tier. I think sparkling water's fine. It has a place, but it's much more of a situational thing. Okay, so for that, I think a B. B is good. Flavored sparkling water. So I don't have like a nice sweet drink, but I have like water that kind of makes me feel gross. For that reason, C. Then just straight up tap water. I live in Africa, so I think D, okay, D. But filtered tap water, it's just such a nice temperature. A tier for me. I love filtered tap water. Okay, then seawater, gross. Okay, really gross, really salty, but super nutrients, okay. The fish are just constantly pissing in it, and for that reason, B tier. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate you as always. Smash that fucking like button, mate. Smash that thing right into the green, you bastard. on Bruno Mars! Who the fuck is Big Moochie Grape? Can you say the undertime slapper? Help me! Help me! Oh no, Jesus! Oh Jesus! Jesus, why are you doing this? Jesus, why?